What's up? Today, I'm going to show you how to create a design inspired by the work of Friedensreich Hundertwasser. If you're new to my channel, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and be sure to check out my other videos. I have so many super fun art tutorials on this channel. Hundertwasser was an Austrian artist and architect known for his nature-inspired designs. Being of Jewish descent, he avoided persecution during World War II by posing as a Catholic and joining the Hitler Youth. He spent much of his life in rural areas living close to nature. He had great reverence and respect for the processes of the natural world. He cared a lot about protecting the environment. Starting in the 1950s, he began traveling around the world to promote environmental conservation. He was also a notable humanitarian and a supporter of the Dalai Lama. I'm going to read a quote by Hundert Wasser. The rationalist way of thinking has brought us an American standard of living at the expense of nature and creation, which is now coming to an end, for it is destroying our heart, our quality of life, our longing, without which one does not want to live. Hundertwasser's designs mimic the natural world and borrow shapes found in nature, such as spirals, imperfect circles, and loose flowing contour lines. He opposed the use of straight lines and said that a straight line is drawn without thought or feeling. Before we start drawing today, I want you to take a look at a few more of Hundertwasser's building designs. Notice the curving lines can you see how the windows don't line up and they are all different shapes and sizes? Also, check out the colorful outlines around the windows. Look how this building appears to be blending into the grassy hillside, and this building has trees growing out of its sides. And so does this one. I love the checkerboard pattern and the irregular square shapes on this structure and the red wavy lines that divide this building into segments. Check out these bright colors. Aren't those towers amazing? To get started, I recommend grabbing a pencil and a large piece of paper. I'm using a Sharpie so that you can see my drawing better, but I recommend drawing in pencil first. I recommend orienting your paper horizontally, not vertically. I'm going to draw a large rectangle on the lower right side of my paper with a tower sticking out of the top. Notice how my lines are wavy and not straight. Now I'm adding a sloping hill shape on the left side. This will be a different section of the same building. In keeping with Hundertwasser's style, I'm adding some wavy contour lines on top of my roof. I'm also drawing the bottom edge of this building with a wavy line. Some of Hundertwasser's buildings included towers with domes, so I'm going to demonstrate several ways that you can draw a dome. Feel free to pause here and copy one of these domes for your drawing. Now I'm adding a dome to my tower. It reminds me of a dollop of whipped cream. I'm drawing some wobbly, wavy rectangles and squares onto my building. You can see some examples of how Hundertwasser did this on some of his designs. Now I'm filling in the areas with windows that are all different sizes and shapes and don't line up. Here are some close-up examples of windows that Hundertwasser designed. Many of Hundertwasser's paintings include eyeballs. So I'm drawing an eyeball here and then a few more curving contour lines, and another eyeball, and some more curving lines, and another eyeball. You can see when you look at these paintings that Hunterfosser's uh, designs include many unusual shapes. So I'm adding some random shapes here, and adding some more contour lines, and some squares with spirals, Hunterwasser drew trees that looked a bit like lollipops. He used a narrow stick for the trunk and an imperfect circle for the tree's canopy. See how these two trees intersect with each other? I'm going to add more trees growing on the rooftop. 
This tree has a couple concentric circles inside of it. Hunter Foster often added circles inside his trees. I'm adding some wavy contour lines for the sky. Now I'm drawing a few more crooked rectangles on the left side of the building. Then inside of these rectangles, I'm drawing windows. When you're all done drawing, you can add color. Both Hunter Foster's paintings, as well as his building designs, used lots of bright colors. So this is gonna be really fun. This panel around the window is going to be bright orange and the frame around the window is going to be blue. This window next to it is going to have a yellow frame and the surrounding panel is going to be red. Here I'm making the window frames pink and the surrounding panel green. This window frame is purple and the panel is turquoise. You get the idea. Have fun and use lots of different colors. Now I'm using blue to fill in the background area of my building and I'm going to use green on the left. Notice how I'm filling in these trees using several concentric rings of different colors. Hudrid Foster did this a lot in his drawings, so be sure to give this a try. I think you'll really enjoy making these colorful rings inside your trees. Check out how I'm using a different color to fill in each of these wavy contour lines on the roof. I'm using alternating colors to color in my dome. Now I'm filling in the shapes, lines, and eyeballs on the bottom with a bunch of different colors. I'm using different shades of blue to fill in the contour lines in my sky. And I'm adding a little bit of yellow just for fun. I'm super excited to find out how your drawing turns out. And one last quote from Hundert Wasser. If man walks in nature's midst, then he is nature's guest and must learn to behave as a well brought up guest. Please say hi in the comments below. Be sure to like this video, check out my other videos, and subscribe to my channel, Rainbow Parrot Art.